Hello everybody, and uh, welcome to my update. I hope you're ready for a spooky ha Halloween Inkscape developer update. Let me just get ready, get to my shed. What the hell? Okay, who ordered the win Winter won Wonderland for Halloween? Because this ain't right. This ain't spooky at all. Dear oh dear. It is pretty though. At least the shed's spooky enough. Yeah, this'll do. Hello everybody. Um, you can probably hear in the background the snow is, is melting. So uh, the winter wonderland hasn't lasted for very long. Um, but I wanted to give you, a, you guys an update on Inkscape development this week. Um, yet another week, yet another excitement, exciting set of uh, functions. So this week I wanted to show you the, the objects dialog. Um, this is a design by uh, Adam in the UX team. Who uh, the, the ultimate aim is to combine both the, the objects, the existing objects dialog and the layers dialog. Um, so we can have one cohesive set of user experiences uh, that works well. So this broadly fell into two tasks this week. Um, the first was refactoring. The, uh, the existing objects dialog code is um, it's written in an old style that makes it very difficult to update. Lots of signals, lots of uh, asynchronous actions. None of this complexity is necessary anymore. Um, so, so there was a lot of refactoring at the start of the week to basically bring it up to date so that it could operate uh, using new object watches. Um, then the second part of the week, I worked on uh, making the object dialogue look like the design. Um, which actually involved stripping out an awful lot of fun functionality um, because there's a lot of user experience questions to be asked about uh, what kinds of functions should be actually involved in this dialogue. Um, highlighting, for instance, uh, now instead of uh, allowing you to set the highlight in this di dialogue, uh, I'll move it to the, the object, not plural, dialogue where you can set it for that, for that one layer, for example. Uh, we use this color now inside inside icons, icons that are specific to each of the object types that are that are available. Um, they, they they look really nice, I think. Um, some other parts of the design are just not possible, like uh, highlighting rows with different colors in GTK is just not possible. You can't you can't uh, color rows effectively. Uh, it's not like HTML where you can basically set a row to to any color. Uh, we're restricted by what GTK will allow us to re render. Um, so there's lots of uh, GTK investigation to see like what it would allow us to to do and which parts of the design were possible. Um, but I think we're we, we're getting pretty close. Like it, it looks relatively nice, um, better than the more complicated and catered dialogue before. Uh, it's probably going to need a lot, a lot more work. Honestly, uh, this branch, which you can try out, is probably going to land in 1.2, I reckon. I don't think it's possible to get it in before the end of November, which is the date for feature, feature freeze in, in Inkscape. Uh, the release for Inkscape, uh, with all these features that I've been mentioning the last few weeks, uh, is um, it's probably going to be April, um, but maybe before then. It depends how things go with bug fi fixing, because we're basically going to spend a couple of months fixing a lot of issues, uh, which is as it should should be. Um, but that's about it for what I've been up to. Um, I want to give a big thank you and shout shout out to all of my patrons again. Uh, please, if you if you want to support the work that I do here on Inkscape, um, subscribe to my Patreon. 
uh, one dollar a month it doesn't really take a lot um, if we get enough pe people together uh, we can make this this pro pro project viable um, I'm probably gonna take a week off next week it's my birth birthday week um, so I, I usually don't work during on my birth birthday uh, so I'll probably see you in two weeks' time, um, but I will be checking up on Twitter and in comments. So please do let me know, you know, what you've been up to in Inkscape, what you'd like Inkscape to be, uh, how you think it could it could be improved. Uh, I'd especially like to see if any of you have given this uh, new objects to dialogue a try and um, what you think of it. Uh, oh, and it might crash in win Windows a lot because memory, um, but don't worry about that. We'll get that fixed. Okay, thank you.